Hey, what's up, everybody? So as you should have seen, the newest character for Project L just got announced. It was Yasuo, who's playable for us in the build. I mentioned before that the fourth character they're going to be announcing for Eva was the most popular character overall, the character that most people played. He's super deep. He's got a lot of technical stuff to dig into. And I think he's one of the easiest characters to just like bash and have a good time with. The most fun character besides Echo for me. And I think he's one of the most fun characters I've played in any game. He's really, really cool. I think they nailed the design. Is a sister great? He looks cool. His visuals are dope. He's nice on the hands. Like there's a lot of stuff to do in there that feels good. And he has a stance, which is also really, really cool. Let's take a look at the gameplay. So this is on the Ionia stage. Has a different, you know, track in the background. I also like bright stages. So this stage I thought was nice. This is the one I preferred. Let's take a looky loo. Damn, he's cool. with the wind. Trust me. Mm -hmm. So that's player two Yasuo intro. And I think it's different because he's player one here. Wonder, but you are lost. Yeah, that's a nice little intro. Looks good. All right, so we'll talk about Yasuo a bit. I'll break down some stuff. I'm mostly going to focus on Yasuo's perspective here because, you know, he's the new character. So I'll get out of the way, let some gameplay happen. And uh, there's an early combo break, and you may be like, no, I wanted to see what he does. Don't worry, you're going to see some combos uh, later. The character is very, very cool. One thing I wanted to highlight right away is his assist. So notice, like, right here, Ari calls the assist, and he slashes through and hits Darius. He naturally side swaps when he does his assist. So forward plus assist puts him on the other side of you, and then he can, like, you know, tag and do a combo or tag and go for pressure. This is the stance. When he puts his sword away, he sheaths it, and he has a bunch of different options out of it. He can dash. He can do, like, a hop. He can do, like, a bunch of swings. He has, like, a horizontal swing that hits the whole screen. He has a diagonal one that does the same thing on heavy. He has an anti-air one on medium. He's got movement stuff out of it. So that's the stance. This is like a dash out of it. And then he can like go for pressure. So if you hit forward during the stance, he'll dash forward and do this. And then that's just like a button. And then this is just him doing uh, the first hit of his special one. Again, you see the side swap on his assist. Very, very good. So that's stance into heavy punch right there. Charge heavy. Stance. And then he dashes forward. Gets DP'd by Darius, but very cool. And again, side swap on the assist, and then you can get sandwich pressure like you just saw there, which is very cool. Look at the combo. Stance cancel? It's pretty cool, right? Like, he's tight. You wait until you see the combo later, but... Launcher, stance cancel into, like, a juggle. Very cool. And stance H, a little bit of a drop there, but you get to see a little bit of it. There's a cool BNB you're going to see. I think it's this hit right here. Stance, and that's the medium. Stance, medium. Stance, he a medium. Dude. It's so cool, right? Like basically everything cancels into the stands. I've seen this character a lot. So this is his jump in. This is his jumping heavy. Double hits is a big old swing. This is just light, medium, heavy launcher. And then this is jumping charge special. Does like a little diagonal cut. And then you can uh, hold it and stay in the stance. And then this is stance medium. And then jump cancel, hold jump special again. Stance, side swap, medium. Do it again, medium. And then this is jump 2H, which is the universal cross-up button for every character. Key thing is it's only for cross-ups. So like jumping heavy won't cross up and jumping down plus heavy will not hit same side. They only are used for cross-ups. And then this is like jump uh, special into his ender. And then you can do level one there. He also is the only character that could do level one, level two, uh, which I thought was interesting in the build. It's something that's unique to him. This move he keeps doing over and over. It's just his special right here. This is like his forward special from my memory. And if you put out a wind wall first, which is back uh, special two, then wind wall like gives the stab full screen range. So it like deletes other things on the screen and it stabs the entire screen. The other thing he can do, he has Virgil judgment cut basically, which the Yasuo on the left side of the screen, that's wind wall that you see here in the middle, negates projectiles, which is super strong, as you can imagine. Very useful assist, just like how it works in League of Legends. But if you do his judgment cut, which, you know, I'm calling a judgment cut, it's like forward plus special two, I think. Uh, and it hits the wind wall, you get the tornado from League of Legends. You see that? So this is like the tornado that knocks up. So very cool, right? Like, you know, it's a cool gameplay element that the character has. And it's something cool to do with him when you have it out. I like it a lot. It also lets you uh, really deal with projectile characters well, because he can just like use the wind wall and then cut through it and then like delete everything on the screen. And he's just, he's gaming. It's very useful, I think. That's the judgment cut just by itself. Yeah. I don't know the name of the move in this game, but like Virgil has the same move in Marvel, which is why I'm calling it judgment cut. I'm sure the developers, I called it judgment cut and every developer knew what I meant. So <laughs> sorry for not knowing the league name, but you know, I don't know if there is a name for it in league. I guess it's just like his, 
his Q, but like on the third hit it does that, I guess. I don't know how else to describe it. But yeah, this is uh, not a lot of time on the clock. A lot of people asked about timeouts actually and how common they were. They, to me, in my experience, are very uncommon, uh, or not as common, I should say, unless you're playing duo mode. Because in duo mode, generally, your like mix-ups and potency is a little lower than if you're solo. Solo, your combos and setups and stuff will be a little bit tighter, so, you know, you tend to kill a little bit easier. In duo mode, in my experience, until you get really used to it, people tend to live a little bit longer. So that's something that might be a factor, but, you know, again, I'm going to be recording footage at EVO. You'll be able to see it there. I mean, they're going to play some other players from the test, or I will be playing developers who will probably destroy me, which would be great because you'll get really high-level gameplay, and they'll be beating me up pretty bad, so it'll be a good time. Damn, block the burst. I think that's the first time we saw it in any of the footage, right? Something important about blocking the burst. When you block the burst, the dynamic save, right? You see this red orb appears, and your opponent gets a wall bounce. So you see Yasuo is on the right side of the screen. This does use your wall bounce. So in this combo that the Yasuo does here, he does stance into down plus heavy, which is this diagonal slice. This is a wall bounce move. And notice how it ends the combo early, right? You just get a bunch of screen space. It's because your wall bounce is already gone. And so because you no longer have wall bounce available, like, you know, the combo is ended slightly early and it just gives you that knockdown instead. Also, one thing about this that I mentioned in one of my other videos, but I mentioned I played with a dev and they were playing uh, a character. They were playing Darius and I was playing the other character. Uh, we Yasuo and Darius is a very nasty little combo. I'll see if I can find a dev to play me and use this combo also at Evo because it's dastardly. It's a, I think it's a really strong uh, combo. I think they tried to hit the assist with the super there and the assist just went away. Oh, got side swap. That's a wake up attack. I covered that in the other video. It's just holding a special when you get up and it's invincible. It's a nice thing to have. Oh. Wow, what a parry. No punish though. That was cool. OTG. No ants here. Man, watching this footage, I can't wait to go play again. It's going to be nice. I hope if you're at EVO, you get a chance to try it. And uh, I hope for everybody else, you get a chance to try the game soon because it's really fun. Level 1 to kill. Easy peasy. I love that super. I think it looks tight. And the follow-up super, which I don't know if we'll see in this video or not, but the follow-up super is really cool looking too. So, you know, hopefully we'll get the chance to see it. Oh, no pickup. He tried. Oh, parry. Punish. One thing about parrying supers like that is I think it's like the right thing to do because it costs one bar to parry and you get the bar back if your parry hits, right? So it's kind of one of those like I might as well do it because, oh, no time. Yeah, that's like you might as well do it because, like, you know, you get your meter back anyway. So it's a pretty smart decision to just parry the super. Because, like, why not, you know? Why not do it? You get your bar back anyway. Seems good. Uh-oh. He also got caught. Wow, that crossed up, too. That was cheap. It hit Ari on the other side. I don't think she was ready. Nice. That was a cool little attempt. Yasuo does judgment cut here. And it's on the ground. And then they tag in Darius. And Darius looks to catch the jump. I like that idea. That was a smart little attempt. You know, just look out for something. This game has a lot of little stuff like that. Like, one thing I would do a lot is call my assist, and then if someone jumped it, I would, like, run, tag, and then air throw them from the assist, which is really strong, too, I thought. Uh-oh, that's both. Oh, Ari fell out, though. Is it going to be super here? Oh, break. Damn, Yasuo took so much life. You notice the red life on the life bars. I talked a little bit about why the launcher is so important in this game. The red life, if you use the launcher, the tag launcher, uh, forces it to go away. So it's actually really useful for preventing characters from healing. And the more you play the game, the more that's a factor, I think, to try to kill faster. Something that is, uh, I'm sure, will come up more when people are more experienced. Oh my dude, he's getting the assist got destroyed. <laughs> okay, so that's stance light. That was so funny. We should watch that again. This is the stance into light, and this is plus on block. But it also OTGs, so you can use this to like extend combos and stuff. <laughs> but he's just doing it to hit the assist over and over. <laughs> okay, that's pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. I like that one. I should have done that one. I I'm gonna do that when I'm playing. Good to know. Ooh, that is cheap. The stance cross-up with the Arius. 
That Aria assist is basically Ami Cold Star. Oh, level one, level two, right? Yeah, he's the only character that can do this in the build. It's really useful being able to do this. I think dump all three meters. Especially because um, when I'm playing like a new game, I'm so bad at spending super meter. So having an option to spend all your super meter at once is like really nice. You know what I mean? Like if you're new, you probably feel me. It's like so hard to remember sometimes. Nice. A little cross up assist. We can see the outro, outro here too. Dreams. Put the sword away. Very cool. Character is super fun. You can probably see why I like them. Good normal range, good ability to control the screen. He can negate projectiles, which not that important against a lot of the characters um, that are in the Evo build, but was pretty nice against some other stuff that you have to deal with in the game. And it does come up. Super fun. I think the character, the stance is chef's kiss. It's so satisfying to use. It's really, really good because everything cancels into the stance and you can cancel the stance and do stuff all the time. So you can like go into the stance, do uh, like the special two while in the stance, and he like does a hop, like a dash forward, and then a jump where he goes over you, and then like call your assist, and then do left, right with that, and then tag him out, and tag him back in, and like it's so nasty, and he can cross up. I think they nailed this character. He is super satisfying on the brain and the hands, if that makes sense. Like execution is fun to do. He's really fun to just master with and have a good time, but also like he's got a lot of stuff to dig into there that feels just like, ooh, it's juicy. He honestly reminds me of playing like an, an XX or Xrd character kind of in that like he really stresses your brain in a juicy, satisfying way. You know what I mean? I love him. I think he is super fun. Him and Echo, so fun. I hope that everybody gets a chance to try the game at Evo if you're going. If you're not going, I hope you get a chance to try it soon. The other thing that's nice, I think, is that you'll get a ton of gameplay from it. You'll get lots of devs playing. Uh, high level footage lots of people from the test will probably get a chance to play i'm sure like people like sonic and whoever are going to go to the booth at evo record some footage for you i'm going to go record some footage and i'm going to try to grab whatever devs are there who are good at the game to beat me up so you all can see some cool combos and stuff and particularly get some solo like footage one-on-one -on -one because that's where you see the most gnarly stuff in the game and i think you'll probably all enjoy that because you know you want to see messed up stuff right so hopefully you all enjoyed the video and uh enjoy yasuo i'm i'm sure a lot of you do he's a really cool character he's probably one of the most requested characters for the game i'm sure and i'll catch you guys with some more footage and see you all after evo sometime peace